there's nothing better than just walking up to a spot, putting your keys away, and getting your lure unhooked. Well, it was a little struggle for me to get my lure unhooked, but on your very first cast to hook up on a fish. Today's gonna be a fun episode, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now if you like fishing in the outdoors. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you like about the video. Tell me what you wanna see me do. Nice. But enjoy the video. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing brought to you by The Real Hooker Bane Tackle and Nines Optics and Livingston Lures. Now I'm just gonna sit here and sip on my morning coffee. This is a colada. Uh, for those of you who are not from South Florida or Hispanic countries or whatever, it is very, very strong coffee, which is black with uh, a lot of sugar. So it's, it's powerful, it's strong, it's sweet, it's delicious. But, you know, the baby has a little bit of acid reflux, so he didn't want to sleep too good last night. My wife is exhausted. I'm, I'm, I'm tired as well. Um, but I did have to go fishing this morning because this is my job. I have to, I have to film. I gotta catch fish. I gotta, I have to make a living. So uh, I'm out here. I'm gonna go test a spot that I struck out on the last two times I went. So hopefully I don't have bad luck today, guys. Comment below. Good luck, and I'm gonna heart your comment. But for now, let me finish my coffee, and we'll get into the episode. So I passed by the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle and they picked up these GYG lures. So I'm gonna test them out today, see how they work, see how they swim, see if I can catch a fish. This line cutter, man. It's got the scissors and the ceramic blades, the ceramic blade, just like that. It's it's easy to use, man. I'm gonna pop this onto my, uh, my clip here and just always have it accessible. It cuts a lot better than the pliers, I'll tell you that much. So now let me just get this rigged up. There you have it right there. JYG three inch swim bait on a quarter ounce jig head. Let's see how it works. And since it's sunny out, I am going to throw on this pink one as well, just to be able to switch it up. So I got two three inch swim baits from JYG and the Jerk Master Junior from Livingston, all from the Real Hooker Bait and Tackle. This is a Savage Gear Black Ops with the, uh, it's actually a Cast King MG12, which is really a really nice uh, reel, to be honest with you. I have no complaints about this reel. Um, but it's a nice little setup right there. I've got the white swim bait on a cash in icon Very very nice rod especially for working lures on a Daiwa Saltis back bay. It's a 4,000 There are some bigger fish out here. So hopefully I can hook something nice on this one and last but not least on my bubble gum, I've got it on a Savage Gear. It's a SGS 10 4000 with the power handle and it's on a Mojo Inshore from St. Croix. So that's my setups for the day. Now let's get into it. Let me latch this up and uh, let's get the day started. All right, so I'm all set up here. I'm gonna throw this uh, Jerk Master first just because I feel like throwing the bait caster and ooh, red ants. So I might have to move where I have this sitting. But let me just come over here. Ah, I always step in red ants when I'm here. And I'm allergic, so not like where I need a, a shot to the heart, but I have a really bad reaction to these red ants out here. But yeah, funny story. The other day, my daughter wanted to go on the boat. So I said, no problem, I'll take you on the boat. We'll go to the sandbar, hang out, and uh, I'll throw some chum out and I'll, I'll fish, you know? I didn't check the weather. I had no clue that there was a tropical storm bearing down on us. So we get out there and I'm trying to cast and it's literally the current's going out 
as I wanted, but the wind was like 20 something miles an hour blowing right into my face. So I was not able to catch a damn thing the other day. Unfortunately, I don't see any fish rolling or anything at all right now. I was running behind because the baby, like I said earlier, was crying. And uh, I hope I didn't miss my window of opportunity. Oh, that was a tarpon right there. I don't know if you guys saw that over my shoulder or not, but that was definitely a tarpon. The wind is blowing in my face again right now, so that kind of sucks. All right, so there are a bunch of mullet over here. <gasps> and something just waked on them. Ooh, someone, something just swerved at them. That spooked the crap out of them. So that's one cool thing about these Livingston lures. Let me bring you a little bit closer. I don't know if it's still chirping out of the water, but they make, they make bait sound in the water. You hear that? So I don't even really have to work the bait, the lure too much. I mean, obviously you want to work it like a normal lure because you double up your opportunity of catching a fish. But I just got chased up right here. Um, hopefully me walking to the camera didn't ruin that. But I'm just gonna slowly bring this in and I'm gonna let it sit right there to see if the fish will actually attack the lure when it's not being worked. So I'm gonna bring it here, I'm gonna drop it right there. I'm gonna bring it in, I'm just gonna let it sink down right here. I'm not gonna move the lure. Not gonna move the lure. And just get it out of that grass right there. Oh, right there. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. About well, ripped it out of my hand. Come on. Nice, nice. Beautiful fish. Let me just bring it over here. You guys following me? Oh, nope. Come back this way since the camera decided not to follow me. There we go. Hey, what's up? There it is. Peacock. Livingston lure. Peacock bass. Let's go. So I literally saw one tarpon roll the whole time. The last time I was there, they were rolling everywhere. I figured because of the weather that they would be there, but the lock was completely shut and there was no flow moving from uh, either side of the spillway. So with that being said, I caught my peacock bass and I decided, you know what? I gotta get home to the baby. So let me spot hop on the way home to try and catch a few more fish. And that's exactly what I did. And remember, if you like fishing in the outdoors, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment. You know, I like to interact with everybody who watches the videos, good or bad, I will interact with you. Yeah, a little squad of baby Oscars. Got the parents are hanging out. Got mommy, daddy right there. So when you're working the canal banks, you always want to cast the head of yourself. That way when you walk up, you don't spook the fish. So. Here, I cast the head, I start working the lure back towards me, and this fish absolutely slams the lure. Got it. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Hell yeah. That is a beaut right there. Look at that, boys and girls. Beautiful Jaguar Agapote. Look at the colors, if I can get it into the sunlight a little bit. On the JYG.
that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I just got the baby to sleep, so I have just enough time to sneak in here and do the outro for my video and finish editing, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do put a lot of work into these videos. You know, it takes hours of filming. It takes hours of editing and trying to do it in between the raindrops when the baby wants to sleep or when I'm able to even sneak out of the house to be able to go fishing. You know, it's a lot of work. So I really appreciate everybody who is here. Subscribe to the channel. You guys are the real MVPs of this thing. So uh, I want to say thank you to all of you guys. And if you're not subscribed, just click the button and turn on your notification bell. Because this channel is all about fishing, the outdoors, travel, life, family, and just having fun. So if that's what you're into, click, click, click away. And guys, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.